Well, thousands of festival goers are in Grand Park as day two of Lollapalooza is well underway. And WGN's Andrea Medina is live with more on all the fun. Hey, Andrea. Hi, Jenna and Ray. It's another energetic day out here. Although we're a bit distant from the main action, we can still see the excitement in the eyes of those who are heading to the festival. And of course, we can also hear the bass of the music in the background, which just kind of adds to the overall vibe. Now, festival goers tell us that they are thrilled to experience great music in nearly perfect weather conditions. Happy Lala, very excited to be back. Day two of Lollapalooza kicked off smoothly under clear skies and no rain in sight. So high, like I'm so excited. I'm excited, I'm glad the rain is staying away, especially yesterday since it was supposed to storm all day. More than 100,000 people are packed into Grant Park, moving between eight different stages. The four day festival will showcase more than 170 acts spanning from hip hop, alternative rock, indie, pop and electronic music. We'll be able to alternate between the various stages to see the different talents. So we think that'll be very exciting for us. I've heard from a lot of my friends. This is one of the best places to be. I've gotten the best videos. I came with all my good friends here. It's been a great experience so far. While festival goers are eager to see big name acts, they also enjoy uncovering new and emerging artists from a variety of musical styles. Tonight there's a K-pop band that's headlining as well too. I think they did K-pop headliner last year. Um, incredible dance music from all across the board. So yeah, it's absolutely diverse. I love to see it. I've always appreciated that about uh, festivals that you can see a little bit of everything. For more than three decades, Lollapalooza has been a staple in the Windy City and festival goers can envision it taking place anywhere else. I think it's location. You turn around and it's the beautiful skyline, and then you turn the other way and it's the beautiful lake. It's just, it's a cool energy. Now, SZA and Stray Kids are scheduled to headline tonight, and many can't wait to see their performances and soak up the electrifying atmosphere. We are live near Grant Park. Andrea Medina, WGN News. Thank you, Andrea.